Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are now in Coombe, and I have finally found a way, or navigated my way on the Lotro Wiki. You can actually section like quests by like area, so for example I'm able to go to Breland and be like, I want all the quests in Breland, or I want all the quests in the Shire. But I actually recently navigated to a way that I can actually section it off by areas, so I was luckily able to cross off everything on Archdale, Oh, and Archer, same thing. Um, so we've done all the quests there. We don't, um, well, if we were a captain, we'd return level 50 for a, um, a class quest, but they, everything for us, personally, is is gone in that area. Uh, except technically that one, but that's in Coombe. It's weird. Um, so I finally sectioned it off to Coombe as well now, and we have quite a few to go through here. So we're just going to come through, I think, you know, just... Even if we're not going to complete them now, just we'll at least uh, pick them up. Um... Just so we have them. The good thing as well is we can also, at this point, you know, uh, I can sort of work out what location everything is. I can then, if I have troubles, I can uh, sort of, you know, go over to my other screen and click on. Sorry about that. I had like a massive coughing fit. Uh, but yeah, you can go click on them, and uh, I can work out where they are, and also I can tell, you know, what level they appear at and stuff like that. So. It's actually part of the prologue, um, so we might as well complete this one considering it's in the building, um, I guess, and it's uh, it should give us XP, so technically it's just going to give us free XP for literally just moving between two areas and clicking continue and slash finish now. Uh, so we get 42, we're going to also go for the prologue. Prologue is going to be a thing we do. Um, uh, I And I think uh, I don't, like, I've done the prologue before, so that's kind of like probably not going to focus too much like story-wise on it but uh i think the later ones because i've noticed i i said at the beginning i want to focus on the story obviously of a few things um and and obviously i have not been doing that i haven't like been reading through what we've got to do i just been kind of doing it but these are the quests i've already done before so it's kind of like a weird thing what the hell is this hope i get hope so we're going to complete black world's unbroken um which i didn't actually know we we're going to complete here so oh we can travel there. Okay, let's do this one. Um, shouldn't take too long, I don't think. I didn't actually realize. I, I thought you said finish now, not travel now. So we're going to defend Constable at the hill. Uh, from Nika Beakers. Creakers? Breaker, yeah. I don't know. Names like that always like, screw me over. I don't know why. Alright, we're going to take those out. These guys are actually giving us XP, which is nice. We need to make sure that he doesn't die. I believe in him. He will not die. We're gonna be... Oh, this is a cave hollow of William Skunkwood. So, we're gonna, I guess, this is hideout and Constable Underwood is either gonna kill him or take him out. Or, or kill him or, like, knock him out kind of thing. It looks like there aren't any brigands so far. Brigands are just dead. There aren't any alive ones. And this is another reason I hate these enemies, is the fact that they can come up from the ground, so I can run ahead, be like, oh, there's no enemies, nothing happening here, and uh, they might come out of the ground. But I think they might, I think they came up, up out of the ground where that dead body was, maybe that's a tell of that. Oh, and I should probably, oh, whatever. I was about to say I should heal myself with that. We got a deed for that, though. So, that's nice. I actually forgot we had that skill until just now, which is very good because there are some enemies later on which use poison arrows, which can be a very annoying thing and, uh, you know, drain your power and health pretty significantly um, in some cases, and it's nice to not have that problem. So there's some enemies over there. And Skorgrim is over here, it looks like. It says Skorgrim, says. So is that actually Skorgrim? It is Skorgrim. Hey. Hey, dude. Hey. I swear fealty to Angmar once more. Never. I will never do so. And one thing I did do recently as well, which I guess did all, is also a case why I have some little turbo points, I bought the, um, even though I've never done it on my main character, uh, obviously because I never owned it, the uh, Trestle Bridge, I think, or however you say it, 
quest pack. Or sorry, it was it's in the North Downs, I think. Uh, quest pack. I should have probably listened to what he said. He's dead though. Um. Yeah, I've got that for us. So when we get to that, because obviously I'm hoping to get by the time I get to everything. Uh, the strange dwarf. Yeah, we've seen him already. Oh, you, uh, actually no, no, because we are elves, so uh, we didn't complete the. Uh, the rangers which once guarded the borders of the Shire. I've been playing a lot of scattered or slain characters. So Frodo has left the Shire. Got the uh, great perils awaiting the indeed. part in the quest, but I am all the story, Someone I guess. Must find him before the Nazgul. Can he not see that? <laughs> I guess they're not very good seeing. I think the whole movie thing. Um. <laughs> Right, let's actually finish this one now properly. We're actually finishing it now. Uh, I think this is light armor. No, it's medium armor. Oh, it's level 12 stuff, so I wasn't really going to expect it to be amazing. Um, trousers or some freshly worked armor. I guess we can look at some freshly worked armor, see what we get from that. And uh, we'll take. Did I just click on another thing? Why have I got teleported to the Prancing Pony? I don't want to be at the Prancing Pony. I want to be not here. I don't want to talk to Strider. I just wanted the quest. That is annoying. Ah, yay, yay. I have no idea why I did that. Right, let's travel back to Coombe. Uh, whilst uh, I can try and find the prologue quests on my little list. Like halfway down for some reason. Alright, so Blackboard's Unbroken, that is a now completed quest. Um, chapter 4 Dark Designs is where we are at now. We talk to Constable Underhill to complete finding Amdir for the prologue anyway. We also need to collect, uh, we need to go Chetwood as well. That's a thing we need to do. So, I don't know when we're gonna do that. Probably sometime soon. Um, I would have guessed. <laughs> I would have hoped. Let's actually have a look at this well-worn armor and see, if, see how it goes. See if there's anything it does better than our armor at. 79, 131. Nope. And nope. Most. I guess it was a chest plate. Let's get that. So we need to complete him to complete the other quest which we were supposed to complete. Alright, so can we get Prologue Amdir thing. A lovely day, isn't it? You know how it is. And then we'll go off and uh, do some of these quests. We won't do them, as I said. We'll just sort of pick them up for the meantime, um, just to stop us having to pick them up later. There is going to be crafting quests in the crafting hall. I don't want another coffin pit, please. Um, and I don't think these guys have any quests. Uh, Constable Ren, I think, gives us or like a middleman for a quest at a later point. Um, but I think, quest-wise, we should be down here. And the thing we're doing this as well is I'm hoping in Chetwood there are some uh, apprentice-level scholar stuff uh, that we can sort of get from there. That would be a pretty nice thing. So Taylor Green, we can actually complete his quest now. Or the quest that involves him, what do you need? Taylor Green. Uh, we'll accept. There's mind. three quests over here, actually. There is one there. There is one from you. There's actually one dude over here. So that is always good. So we'll get that quest, that's good. And uh, Old Bowman's farm is going to be there as well. And we have a bit of time. So we can go over here, and there's actually a few things we have to do. Um, we have to find the hanging tree. That's actually back along here. We can talk to this guy, which just basically means we have to go kill a dude uh, to Hello. get his handkerchief back and kill some wolves over here. I also lost where my horse was for a moment. Or the dismount button for my horse was. So you got to kill six of these lovely wolves here, 
they're not actually giving us XP, sadly, we're at too high a level, obviously, that is kind of the one annoying thing about doing what we are doing, there is going to be a period of time where we are not going to get XP, which is obviously the reason why I've decided to do, on a fairly regular basis, some skirmishes, and stuff like that. Due to that, though, we aren't going to be leveling up at the fastest rate. Um, obviously, skirmishes, they, I, I'd say on average, skirmishes probably takes like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, which is about an episode long. Um, obviously, they scale to me, so, you know, they kind of stay the same no matter what. And, uh, I don't know, like, I had to do, like, seven skirmishes to get from level 49 to 50. Something like that. I don't... Well, I had to do five from where I was at the time in x 6, technically, to go from... I don't know, actually. It would have probably been 12, actually, come to think of it. I can't actually remember how much XP I had. I think I might have been about halfway. You never know. But it takes a very long time... A, a large amount of skirmishes in order to actually do some of these things. So it is a case of uh, we won't be leveling up at the fastest rate. Hey, Captain Dogwood. We found our letter, so that's fine, but we are going to kill Captain Dogwood. And then we need to also collect Sally's chain and Filbert's handkerchief. So we'll go over there, uh, we'll complete these quests and tick them off, complete them, the like. Once that's done, um, there's actually a quest in there, I have no idea what that one is. Uh, blue. No, it's not blue. It's beneath... Is that? Okay, apparently that's in some sort of pond, but I'm pretty sure beneath the hanging tree isn't there. So, collect Sally's chain. What do we need to do there? Oh, oh, yeah, I know. God damn it. We have to kill the brigands up here. The brigands have taken over the farm. We have to kill them and get Sally's chain back. There we go. Found a receipt. So they probably sold it. Or not. Okay, we did two quests. And Filbert's handkerchief is going to be down here. There is a guy up in that corner that is that has got it. We are going to have to be a bit careful, though. There is a warg here, and he is very... Well, actually, I don't think he'll kill us, but he is around our level. Um, I don't know if he actually is here, but he is at the level where he could probably get us. I also want to check. Apprentice, there we go. So we can actually finally get some stuff for our apprentice um, scholar set up from down there as well. So overall, it's just a good outcome. We got an apprentice we weaponsmith scroll case. We got. Are we a weaponsmith? Yeah, we are actually. We can actually uh, use that. So let's. Okay, we actually have some space to use it throw away something that's not exactly... Oh, we can use these. Yep. Heavy bronze sword recipe. We'll also pick up this. So we can research all this. We might not be able to pick up all the items. That is actually a worry. Oh, no, we did. Three aged scraps of text. And we've got all those quests complete. So, Scholar now. We're able to create one early third raid third age relic from that, and uh, from, we should be able to then create one extra thing, so that's a total of 16 XP extra for us. So that should throw us up to, what, that'll be 14, 24 XP out of 200. Not terribly far, not too bad, I guess, either way, uh, and we also get some normal XP out of it as well. Um, we do actually have all these, these are journeyman scholars, I guess that's going to be good, especially when we get to that point. Um, also, we have a ton of journeyman scholar scroll cases, which I've obviously not thrown away um, for when we get there. I think I, I was talking to someone the other day um, about this, and I, I said to my, I said to them that I'd probably say that scholar is the hardest to level up out of all the crafting vocations. I think, um, other than other than the obvious fact of like you have to like for weaponsmith, I have to count on a prospector to help me or buy stuff from a auction hall for a prospector. Like, I have to get the ingots. Like, excluding that fact, because that's, you know, something that you can easily get sorted out. Like, you... It's like woodworking as well, or forester. 
uh, you have to go to the place. You like to get the stuff for Scholar. You have to go to a high level place at a higher level. So if you skip ahead, you kind of screwed over. So I don't know. It's just kind of a thing, I guess. I think. But we're gonna complete so these. Sorry, we have to get rid of something. Let's get rid of freshly jacket thing and that and yes, god damn it. And that and we'll complete these and we'll have to find someone to sell this stuff to because who wants it? Actually we'll throw these away because the vendor trash is probably gonna be better. So, you need. Ah, that's not gonna be better than our stuff anyway, because we created our stuff. And we get so uh, we'll get some of those potions because we got less of them. Right. And we got those. So that's gonna be it for today. Um Next episode, I don't know if next episode's skirmish or not. I don't know. If it is, we'll do that. If not, we'll just carry on with some of the quests around here. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And finally, we are getting on with some of these quests. And I hope to get some to some higher level areas soon and hopefully level up. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.